Good day! Today we will discuss about the signs of children's wear. This is from Dressmaking 9 for the third quarter week 1. Learning objectives. Number 1. Identify the different designs suited for children's wear. Number 2. Share ideas and the importance of learning how to make children's dress. Number 3. Plan garment design for children. Let's recall. This activity will cause you to do or write true if the statement is correct and false if it otherwise. So we know that planning a design for children's wear is very important. Because making children dresses could give great business opportunity as children's clothing is never out of fashion. So trending designs used in outdoor clothing are also used in children's wear. Hence, making children's dresses in line with current fashion. Again, let's try this as a recall for the previous lesson that we have. Now let us start number one. Question. The way how a sleeping garment is cut can affect its marketability. What would be the answer? True or false? If your answer here is true, is that the correct answer? Number two, this environment can you get more appealing to a customer? Two and false. If your answer for the two questions or two, you already have two points. Now let's go to number three. Labeling is not necessary in selling garments. True or false? Then, number three, labeling is not necessary in selling garments. True or false? If your answer for the third question is false, you have the correct answer. Now, our fourth question is, it is, is it a mask to know the cost and the expected markup in selling garments? Answer it. Okay. For the answer, if you're able to answer the number 4 through you have the correct answer. the number 5, the quality of garments must be considered when spelling. This is statement can be true or can be false. What is your answer? Okay. For this activity, if you answer for number 1 is true, that is correct. For number 2, is true again, is that it correct? For number three, if your answer is false, is that it correct? Number four, if your answer is true, you got it right. And number five, if your answer is true, you got it off. So thank you for doing this activity. Let's now move the other slide. Let us have this activity. Call this main game. This direction that can you find a name of these five things from given pictures? I only have three pictures here. Look at this and try to guess the five things given from this picture. Do you answer this after the discussion? Just have your Maybe children's clothing or kids' clothing is clothing for children who have not yet grown to full height. Children's clothing are often more casual than other clothing. Fit for play and dress. However, a lot of children's wear is heavily influenced by trends in other fashion. 
number one of this, the ornament for the decorate and beautify. Second, our number two is the flare to spread outward or extend beyond the perpendicular. Third, or number three, the fold of pants to spread glosses and slip at the bottom. These pictures are the example designed commonly used for children's wear. We have Empire, Ship, Princess, Tent, A-Line, and Dropways. This was illustrated by Bernadette J. Maitain. And you can use that in Pinterest.com.ph. Now, let's go to trimmings. What is trimmings? Trimmings are ornamental additions to a bare fabric or a pinch garment. It is also used to enhance or emphasize the beauty of the apparel. Hence, they can be functional or decorative and powerful. Number one of this is a clique. A clique, a separate design for petals, leaves, or figures which is cut and applied to a garment. This how you can see the picture or the example picture that shows. Second trimming is, is buttons. Pieces of bones or metal glasses of various shapes having a shank or holes. As you can see from the example of the children's wear here, the drop down button designs. Next, number three is embroidery. Embroidery is an ornamental needlework consisting of designs to work on fabric by hand or by machine. Number four, pocket. Pocket is a piece of fabric applied to a garment to form a container. And fifth, and number five, ribbon. A ribbon is a narrow fabric of silk or velvet used for trimming. Rig rock. Rig rock is a flat wooden six that in mesmerized cotton or rail. This attached to the garments to have a good flowy zigzag ornaments of the skirt. Number seven is the ruffle. It's a strip of clothes darker or pleated as a trimming to finish edges. Now let us now answer this name game. As we already discussed the seven trimmings. So what are those trimmings? Number one, you can see the pocket, the embroider. Number two, you can also see the applique, the ruffles. Number three, you can see the ribbon. Then also the applique. Now, what else you can see? Hope you enjoy. Thanks and keep watching. Enjoy!